This scene is one of my favorite scenes we've shot so far because it really shows the audience and the world out there how capable deaf people are. I just find it interesting how very natural this whole experience acting-wise has been for you. It's as if you were born to do it. I come from a family that's very creative. My mother's an artist. My father was a musician. My sister is a dancer. Mm -hmm. I'm married to a poet. So I've always been surrounded by that creativity and I've always felt this need to tell stories. I didn't know that I could act, but when I look back, it all makes sense to me. When people interview you, a lot of it is about being deaf. And there's clearly more to you than just the deaf cultural aspect of you. You're African American, you're Mexican American. How did that influence you growing up? My father is Mexican. He was the first child born here in America. His brother and sisters were all born in Mexico. My dad grew up in an environment where everyone spoke Spanish and English, so he's bilingual. When he found out that his child was deaf, his first thought was, oh, okay, I've got to learn another language to communicate with my child. So that's what he did. Learning sign language came from his family cultural being appreciating bilingualism and that affected me growing up. Did you grow up eating certain foods or doing certain dances? Yes, absolutely. My grandmother, my abuela, made the best enchiladas with mole sauce. Oh, that chocolate was so good. Are you passing along that culture to your sons as well? Absolutely. My boys, they're also Jewish because their father, my husband is a Russian Jew. So oh. I hope that my boys don't have to explain their backgrounds as much as we have needed to today, right? How proud are you to be multicultural? How proud are you to be Latina? I love having an intersectional identity. I feel that allows me to reach out and connect with more people out there. Sure. There's more opportunities to share with other people and share something we share experiences. I love that. It makes me feel like I'm a good storyteller. Do you have any advice for young women who face the same situation as you being a deaf child in a hearing world? My advice to young women would be to stay true to yourself. And it is okay if sometimes you feel like you're not sure of how to behave or how to be or how to speak with a certain group of people. That, that's okay. You can be quiet at that moment and just observe because that's good too.